Welcome back guys, another video today. As the title suggests, it's an unboxing video, mystery unboxing video, uh, along with a couple of other things, a bit of hobby progression. Also, where the channel's going forward from now up until the foreseeable future. So grab a coffee, relax, and enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. <music> Okay, let's get this show on the road. So, been away for a little while, but I've been working away. I've been doing little bits and bobs, um, but haven't really done a Warhammer video for a while now. So, we're going to get into this video today. I've got a couple of things to show some people, and hopefully, you enjoy it. So, as the title suggests, mystery unboxing. Um, I'm actually pretty chuffed to show you this today because I haven't seen much of this about on YouTube so without further ado let's get into it and see what we've got and here we are the Warhammer Conquest Silver Templars painting guide okay quick backstory into this um sometime last year I subscribed to Warhammer Conquest because there was a couple of bits I wanted from the magazine set so mainly it was um, a couple of paints and things like that on the cheap and a few bits of scenery and things like that and to be honest I know there's a lot of bad feedback with Warhammer Conquest but they were they were pretty good to be fair um, they my only gripe at the first time was they sent me a novel Silver Templars novel um, which I didn't actually ask, ask for but they charged me for it so um, me being me I called up and I said, "Look, it's very nice of you to to uh, send me the novel, but you know I didn't ask for it, so I don't really like having the extra charge. I'm a bit stingy, so you know, blah blah." Anyway, long story short, they actually reimbursed me for the novel, but they said, "Look, keep it." Um, and I said, "Thank you very much. You know, as a gesture of goodwill, that's very nice of you." So I did keep the novel, um, and in fact, I, I read it and I, I quite enjoyed it. To be fair, so. Being the nice person that I am, I actually called them back and I said, look, um, I actually really enjoyed the novel, so thank you very much for sending it me. Um, and I felt that the it was quite nice to see another, you know, a new faction, the Silver Templars faction, albeit, you know, it's just a cut and paste kind of thing. There's no new models for it or, you know, there's nothing like that. It's just a case of a different paint scheme. Um, but nevertheless, I said thank you very much. I enjoyed the novel very much, and I'm look look forward to seeing more things on the Silver Templars. And the person that I speak to on the phone, it's, it's a long time ago now, but I think he was called Mike. He said, "Well, listen, Jigs, you enjoyed it, so how about we send you out something in the post, and I think you will enjoy it." And I said, "Oh, go on then. Why not? You know, very nice of you. Thank you very much, guys." Long story short. A couple of weeks later, this came in the post. Um, I had a little look through it. I was very impressed. Uh, and then about a week later, I got an invoice in the post for this. And so, back on the phone again. So, I called up Conquest, told them that I'd spoken to a chap who was sending this out. Very well received. Thank you very much for it. Um, but I didn't realise that you were going to charge me for it. So, yet again, back on the blower, um, we got that sorted out. So, in fact, I actually got this for free, which, to be fair, which sounded like that was the initial intention on the phone. Anyway, he didn't say, you know, we'll send you something out and you have to pay for it. He said, if you enjoyed it, you know, we'll send you something else out that we think you'll really enjoy. Take a look at it. So I said, yeah, thank you. Why not? Let's go. So, yeah, that's who it is. So anyway, let's get into it and have a little look, shall we? Right, so here we go. Here it is in all of its glory. WYSIWYG, you get your Silver Templars How to Paint Guide, which was really very nice. Um, we'll go into all of these bits in a little bit more depth in a second, so I'm just going to put this to the side. But, as I said, you get your How to Paint Silver Templars Guide, and it's on like a, a flipbook style setup. So... We'll have a look at that in a minute. 
who also got missing from there because he's been put together Primaris Lieutenant um, got a pretty cool selection of paints <clears throat> one of them I actually really wanted um, to order from GW but don't want to go to the shops so that was very nice sterling mud I've already been using that on some of my bases um, but yeah nice little selection of paints up there tell one side you can see that technical storm shield which is like a, a matte varnish um, which I haven't tried yet but I'm very excited to give it a go because I've got a couple of varnishes but they never seem to come out matte so I'm very happy to give that one a go then five primaries intercessors now you'll see there's missing spaces and that's because I've started putting them together already um, it's a very nice kit it's actually the first chance I've had to look at a sprue of intercessors yes I do have the prophecy of the wolf box no I haven't even started on it yet so this is my first look at any primaries at all in any capacity in any shape or form so again we'll pop that to the side there and lastly which is very nice we have silver templars transfers so you know how transfers work you've got everything you need to make your team look all fancy and to put them into their factions and to make them stand out so that was very nice very cool thank you very much and i'm going to pop that back in there as it is right then so let's have a little look at the book shall we the painting guide Right, so let's get this out of the way. And let's get this into frame. So, it's a lovely looking book. Um, I haven't actually seen these before. Call me call me blind or out of touch or whatever. Okay? But I've never actually seen a painting guide like this. So, maybe Games Workshop will actually do more of these. And I just haven't ever took any notice of them. So, let's have a little look. You see, you've got some lovely artwork if the camera makes it out, which it should do, I think. Yeah, so you've got some lovely looking artwork. Yeah, as you can see, the Silver Templars going up against the Death Guard. And you've got some pictures here. Again, it's, it's nothing mind blowing, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's new primaris models in a new faction colour. So, overall looking good already um, and again there the silver templars all set up ready to go ready to kick some xenos ass um, to be fair it's quite a nice color scheme i quite like them in the silver um, i think i still prefer the look of black templars but anyhow so in the contents you're looking at a little brief rundown of the silver templars themselves um, how to use the guide you've got the lieutenant model which they've supplied in the box and then your inter squad intercessor squad oscas um, and then all the boring stuff here so how to build it how to paint a little gallery with some pictures and it also comes with some missions and the data sheets for the models themselves which is really handy for me because i have no clue about primaris at all so I think as I flip the page it then goes to landscape, oh no it doesn't, it gives us the little back down, the background story. Um, so yeah, let's have a little look at it shall we. Uh, so it's going on to a, a bit of a background story on the intercessors and what they've been doing. So Corvon 2, the plague wars have stretched the Ultramins thin. Thankfully their successor chapters have answered the call, rushing to help their brothers across the realm of Ultramar and beyond. Lieutenant Escadon has been dispatched to Corvon II, where his troops have already inflicted great destruction upon the Death Guard, albeit at the cost of many losses of their own. So, same old shindig of the Space Marines, you know, stuff's going on. They turn up, they kick some ass. Um, and we've got the little bit of backstory of Intercessor Squad Oscas. So, Battle of Ixis. I don't know if I'm right there, but it sounds right. One of the largest fuel production facilities in the Ultima Segmentum, the Promethean-rich world of Ixis was a key target for the invading Death Guard. 
across blazing oil fields, the Silver Templars Third Company battled the heretics for control of the planet's refineries. Squad Oscars held the centre of the line against the final Death Guard assault. Fighting hand to hand in a raging inferno, they emerged from the resulting destruction weeks later. Armour blackened by the intense heat, their enemies nothing more than charred corpses. Okay, so they're sounding pretty badass. Um, if you're a Primaris captain, uh, captain, collector, you know, you're probably getting all jazzed up and excited over these. So, uh, yeah, you know, nice little backstory for them. The Silver Templars novel, which I said was actually pretty entertaining, I liked it. Nothing out of the ordinary, you know, I haven't read a lot of Space Marine stuff, but you're pretty much getting the same stuff isn't as usual anyway on to the other things as i said this is like a, a flip book design so you paint along and you work with it and it stands up like this and as you go along you learn how to build as it's saying here let's see if i can get a better shot there there you go as i said you're getting your how to build instructions now we're not idiots we know how to build most of these kits so bloody blah, blah oh i'm going the wrong way so now as you're going through, you flip the pages over, it's going to tell you how to build these bad boys. I'm going to skip through the, a lot of these because it's not that important. I just wanted to show you what it is. It's going to give you a brief rough down, rough down, brief idea of what brushes to use. Again, I don't have many of these, so it's not really that important. Um, they're giving you a load of colours, base paints and things to use now. They didn't include barely any of these in the kit. So as normal, you've got to go out and buy some more. So that was the reason for me not wanting to do the silver templars anyway, because you know, not gonna buy go and buy a load of more new paints for an army which really I'm not gonna collect. I tend to buy the colours that I need for whatever reasons and for whatever purposes. Um I've got a cat just in the shop, Misty, come on. And there we go, so you got your prime models, which they're saying prime in silver. I'm fairly new to this new style of painting, which they all advise. So I don't really know much about spraying in silver, but I can see why it's a good idea. Um, and there we go, it's just giving you a brief step, step by step, how to do these models, how to do the shades, and how to do your whatnots. So it's overall, it's it's pretty comprehensive um, and pretty good. I mean, to be honest, a lot of this will probably just go on eBay. Um, but the one thing I will be looking through and having a good look at is this. Because I'm shocking at doing faces. I can never do skin tones right. So it's nice to have that guide and to go through. But come on, we're not really here for any of this. So I'm just going to flip this out of the way. There's your data sheets for your intercessors and your lieutenant. So I'll be having a good look through that. And there's another nice little bit of artwork on the back for you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, so as I said earlier in the previous previous frames, here is the five intercessors. I do apologise about my hands. My cat loves to beat me up. And I'll just push these to the back here. So here is your Lieutenant Escadon or Lieutenant insert name here. So here he is in all of his finery. I managed to get him in a bit of a different pose because, well, I hate static poses. So here he is. He's on the base with the Sterling mud. Just all messed in. All messed up. He's uh, stepping on an orc head. And... I'll explain why in the next bit of footage. So, here we have the model. I've gone for a grey theme because I don't like the Silver Templars scheme, it's colour scheme, so I've gone with a grey. So, you can call them whatever you like grey Maris, grey Templars, whatever you like. That's what I've gone for. Um, he's about 99% done. There's a few little bits I'd like to do with him, but overall, I'm I'm pretty happy at that. Let's just pop him in there. Oh, his backpack's just come off. It's has blue tacked on. And here are five intercessors. They're all in varying stages of progression. Um, 
so yeah they look a lot darker than the lieutenant at the moment because they've been heavily washed in areas and bits of the light areas where I want to start on just picked out for the time being and uh, the most complete one is probably this chap here he's got his little I don't know what that is communication device talking back to the I don't know the ships that are coming in I've stuck him with a nice little old school looking mark 2 mark 3 bobbly shoulder pad just as a little throwback to the the firstborns uh, and I really like this arm here he's got his bolter slung over the shoulder pistol in hand he's probably finished his last rounds in the gun hasn't got any more on him so he's picked out the pistol he's calling for reinforcements or a, I don't know ammo drop or something and if you look closely he's got couple of gnarly scars on his face so I picked him look like you know a bit of a ruffian and there's his helmet there so we'll be doing more work on these guys over the next couple of days but those are the five guys you get in the box and um, now the reason why I chose this color scheme is because and as I previously mentioned a minute ago I haven't actually started on the prophecy of the wolf box set yet so I've got some primary stuff to be getting started with when I do eventually get that all cracked open and cut off the sprues and uh, well while I'm not a big fan of the space walls don't particularly like that light baby blue kind of colour I think it looks a bit soft so I've gone for grey and I'll be using the same colour scheme for those models um, so yeah so that's the colour scheme I'll be going for with those. And when I do eventually get that all cracked open, I'll have a fairly decent force to start playing with and learning about the new rules. Um, I've got a couple of other things from Conquest as well, like a repulsor tank um, and a few other bits and bobs. So these boys are going to have tanks, lieutenants, captains, and then obviously bits from the Prophecy of the Wolf box set. So yeah, they're all going to be this colour scheme here. And that's primarily it for the primaries. Hey, <laughs> get it? Primarily for the primaries? Yeah. Anyway. So, and lo and behold, we've got these boys too. Katachan Heavy Weapons Team. Um, if you're wondering, Jigs, where's all the orcs? Well, you'll also notice I've changed my name. So it's Jigs Hobby and Game. And the reason for that is I've got many models and they're not all orcs. Um, and so I don't see it fit anymore really to call myself Jigs Bois because I'm going to be including other minis into my series and into my videos and lots of those are going to be things like Catachans, Blood Angels, Gene Steeler Courts, as you can see now a bit of Primaris and as well as the Orcs so I didn't see it really fit anymore to keep calling myself Jigs Bois because my channel is going to be about a couple of things, along with the Pokemon videos that you've probably seen. So it's Jigs, Hobby and Game from now on. But I digress. Here's the Katachans. I love that little plant. Does look... Plant does look a little bit rude. A little bit unsavoury. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. I bought it cheap off eBay. I think about £2. It was already glued down. Painted pretty badly. But I've managed to save it to some degree and get it looking pretty good if you've joined my discord you'd have probably seen it anyway um in the state that i got it in when i bought it and here it is now i'm pretty much happy with it as it is now i'm not going to do any more um because it's glued down i don't really want to go any further so i've done what i can do i can't take the models off because this model is actually glued to the leg down here it, you can't quite see it but it is um, and I tried to remove it and that leg was going to break so I decided to just leave them as is so the faces aren't very good but the eyes are done again not very well need to just finish off the end of that gun there but yeah it is what it is and I'm very happy with it and I will be working on more of my cafty chans very soon when I get back to my flat Finally, it wouldn't be a mystery unboxing without another mystery package, would it? 
So I'm not going to show you the address because that would be silly. And I'm just going to make sure the guy's address down there is covered. But he's from Villa Road. So big up, big up you guy for for the name of the street. Good old Villa. Anyway, let's flip this over, get it open, and we'll see what it is. Any guesses for what it is? Do you reckon you know what it is? Have a little guess. I bet you can. I bet you're all wrong. Anyway, let's give it open. So who doesn't like a nice little unboxing or unwrapping? I haven't even seen this myself yet. I've had it a couple of days. It could have been a. It could be a dog shit in a bag, couldn't it? Let's hope it's not. I don't think it is. I have rattled it. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here, like this. Can you tell what it is yet? It is... A Primaris Judicia. Or however you say it, Judas Priester. Out of the Indomitus box set. I didn't buy one because I don't like Necron. And also, I don't know anybody... Um, near me or close to me or even in my immediate circle of friends who collects Warhammer so me buying the box and breaking it down would have just been a bit of a bore like to be honest because I'd have been stuck with Necron stuff for ages and I don't sell on eBay because of well it's eBay so I picked one up I managed to get it really cheap I think it was £3.50 with no postage so very chuffed with that uh, and I'm going to just leave a couple of shots in the screen now to show you some examples of that model. Um, so yeah, we'll put this down and you can see some of the shots now. And here we go, so we've got this one here, it's done in standard colours. Um, they're lovely looking models, personally I think they're really nice. Uh, I love the style of this one as well. I like the, uh, the glow on the sword and the glow in the eyes. And that little sand timer thing, whatever it is. And there we go, there's one with the Primaris Lieutenant head, I think it is. Um, but there's some really nice Black Templar conversions too. Um, so we'll see what I can come up with on the, one of these models and see if I can get anything as good as one of these. So there we go, guys. In summary, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. It shows you a little bit of what I'm working with at the moment. And uh, going forward what you can expect to see in some of the upcoming videos when they're all done and all completed. Um, give me some feedback, let me know what you think of some of the Primaris models. Uh, do you like them? Are you more of a firstborn kind of person? Um, also, give me your thoughts on Conquest. If you've ever ordered from there, let me know what you think. Um, obviously, they are out here to make money. They wouldn't be here if they wasn't. Um, but I have found them quite easy to work with if you've got any issues or any complaints or anything you're unhappy about they're more than willing to keep you happy happy customers are returning customers after all so that's about it really um leave a like leave a share leave a comment all of that i know it's coming up in the outros and you've seen it on the intros but it all helps with the algorithms and all of that bloody blah, blah other than that have a great day weekend's fast approaching so make sure you have a good weekend and stay safe